What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do a wealth tutorial about a notification bar on the top of your website. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. And so, ooh, it is. there it is. As we share this screen, if I refresh this site of some of the sites that we work on at Unfinish, uh, when you refresh this site, notice there's a notification bar that pops up from the very top. And, uh, we, uh, and that it's noticeable and that it, uh, a user can see it right away, right? So we're going to look into Wealthflow and how we can do that. Super, super quick tutorial just for you. But before we move on to there, just a quick introduction. My name is R.R. Abrat and I help run Unfinish, which is a full stack web design and Wealthflow development agency, helping companies both on the startup and the enterprise level build innovative and creative websites. Let's jump right into the tutorial. So we'll go to Webflow here, and this is a Webflow that we're currently a Webflow, a website that we're currently working on for a company called Simply Finance. And uh, we got some little things here and there. We're going to do a notification bar on the very top so that if uh, if this you know company has any announcements or anything like that, they can do that. Now, this now notification bar. Uh, we're just going to make it static. Uh, if you work in the Webflow uh, before, you can make it totally CMS where the uh, the content inside can be modifiable at any time. But we're just going to make a really quick one. We're really just focusing on the animation, how that works. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and close these tabs right here. And we'll go ahead and create our notification bar. Now, with a lot of things in Webflow, you really, there is no notification bar or modal uh um element you have to create these things from scratch using these dev blocks right so we're going to go ahead and create a dev block so let's go ahead and put a dev block in there i'm going to put this at the very top here and don't mind any of the you know we're just going to name this whatever i know there's some frameworks that we should do we have a framework as well ourselves but uh, we're really just making this real quick okay so we'll just go ahead and name this uh notification bar okay notification bar and then inside the div block, we're going to add another div block. Now, this notification bar will be the wrapper of the content, okay? Now, it's actually going to be kind of the, the wrapper of the wrapper of the content. And that's actually important because when it gets to animation, you don't want the, 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 con the, um, the content to be right on the wrapper that's being animated. I hope that wasn't too complicated what I was talking about, but I'll explain to you. Um, in a bit. In the notification bar, I'm going to put our padding. So we'll just put a quick 24 on the side right there because that is also the padding that we have on these sections, 24. So I want to make it consistent. So whenever it's like on mobile, uh, whenever it's on tablet, the padding on the left and right are consistent when the breakpoints uh, get a little bit skinnier and we chose 24 because actually a lot of in our builds we work with um segments of 12 so 12 24 all that stuff and also because kobe okay let's move on all right here we go now we're not going to do the the top and bottom padding that's actually very very important we're going to do the top and bottom padding on this dev block right here and we're going to do a top and bottom padding of 12 because i like to do like i said a uh, little increments of 12 and we're going to go ahead and name this and we're not going to name that dev, dev block too heck no we're going to name it notification say flex or you can name it notification wrapper notification content whatever okay now in this flex we're going to go ahead and make it a flex box we want the content uh to be in the middle i want it to be in the middle so i'll put it a line middle Justify middle. Um, and I'm going to put a column just in case we have two types of content. We'll maybe do a 12 uh, column, but we're probably not going to do it for this one. Okay. Uh, we're going to go in input here. Let's start with a text block. Now, this text block, I do have some classes here. We're going to make this white. So text white. And we're going to say uh, get free, all caps, money. All right. Uh, whatever caption you want to put there. And then we're going to do sign up today. Okay. And we'll make the sign up today probably a link. And it will take them to wherever it is they can get free money. I will go there as well because I would like some money. Okay. Uh, now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and put a button on the right side, which is a close 
icon. So what we'll do first is we'll put a link block. Um, link block is important so that, first off, for accessibility purposes, you don't want to make it just an image that you can click. You actually want to make it a link block. Uh, number one, first off, when you put the cursor over it, so that has the finger icon. I know you could do that uh, with really just on Webflow, change up the cursor. But we also want it for accessibility purposes so that it recognizes that it's a link. Okay. And in here, uh, we're going to name this, say, notification close. And then inside here, we'll put the image. And in this image, we have a white close button. So let's go ahead and click that. And there you go. We are done. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and keep going. Hope you didn't close. <laughs> I hope you didn't close the. Okay. All right. So notification close. We'll make it with 24 pixels, high 24 pixels, because Kobe Bryant. And uh, where am I? I'm sorry. I keep getting distracted. And I'm actually going to make this absolute because I want it to be all the way in the uh, very right. Okay. So let's do this absolute. We'll put it at the very right. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to make the notification bar to be relative so that uh, anything absolute stays within those confines of this particular uh, div. Okay. And I'm just going to do a percentage off the top to make it kind of in the middle. And I'm going to put about 12 pixels on the side, actually not 12, we'll do six. So that does a little bit of padding from the right, okay? And now we have our notification bar. So that's what's gonna look like when we have the notification bar pop in uh, for the user, okay? But now let's go ahead and look at the animation for this. So let's start with the notification bar. We'll have this highlighted, go to the animation panel or interaction panel. We'll click element trigger. I will just scroll into view. Now you can totally make this a page load animation and do it after page load. Um, I like particularly scroll to view because I don't want to have to affect the whole page. I just want to have a, be affecting this particular uh, notification bar. Scroll into view totally works because it's already into view because it's the very top. So it will load right away. Okay. So we'll do scroll into view and we'll start with when scrolling into view. We're actually not gonna have a when scrolling out of view. It's gonna be a, uh, just the when scrolling into view action. So we'll do start animation. We'll click the plus button right here. And we'll call this notification bar show, okay? Notification bar show. And with this highlighted, we'll click the plus icon right here and we'll do size. Now, I know you can do interaction trigger. I'm really just using this for the notification bar and nothing else. So we're just gonna do, go ahead and do it for class. This is gonna be important. Um, let's say you're gonna put this in your, uh, you want this on other pages. You can totally put a navigation um, component, um, but just affect the whole class so that, you know, it's, it's something that you just build one time is gonna be everywhere, okay? Okay, so we'll go and do the size. We're just gonna affect the height of it and we're gonna do zero pixels. There you go, it disappears. Now, the reason why, uh, first off, I do notice that. Don't worry, I'm going to get to there. The reason why I wanted, um, if you notice, a while ago we were creating this, the notification bar had the left and right padding, but it didn't have the up and down padding. We want it to be on the uh, notification flex wrapper inside of it, because if not, even though you put zero, uh, because you're just affecting the size of the notification bar, but you're not affecting the size of the flex, it'll kind of still show something and just kind of gets it a little bit messed up. One thing I'm going to do real quick that I forgot to do is do uh, overflow none so that nothing shows when it is um, zero pixels, okay? So notice there, none of, nothing is showing. This one, we're going to make it initial state. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this uh, action. And we're going to make it auto. All right? And duration would be 0.3. I like to make my durations a little bit quicker. I have to make animations a little bit quicker. Um, and then we're going to do a delay. I don't want the animation to happen right away. Maybe like one second. Uh, I don't want to make it, I don't want it to happen too delayed either because I want to make sure that whoever is viewing it sees it right away, uh, especially if your nav bar is not fixed. Um, now, you could totally make the nav bar fixed. It's going to show any time. 
but this particular one, the nav bar is not fixed. So I want people to see it right away. So we'll go ahead and delay this for one second and we'll save it. So let's go ahead and view this uh, interaction. And there you go, shows up. Now, the reason why I want to delay and I want an action, I don't want it to show up right away is because that's some very small text, uh, dark uh, kind of notification that I don't want to make it too noticeable, but I do still want to make it noticeable to a user when they're in the website. That action helps you notice like, oh, your eyes kind of lock up. What is that going on? Oh, get free money. Oh, let me click that. You know, uh, and then your users don't sound like that. Sorry, customers, you don't sound like that. Okay, so we'll go ahead and now do the closing interaction. Closing interaction is really you want to have the notification close link block highlighted. And we'll do the plus icon here. We'll do mouse click. And we're just going to do a first click. We're going to start animation. And this notification bar show, we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to edit this to be notification bar close or hide or whatever. Okay. What am I typing? Okay. We'll delete the second part of the notification. We're going to remove the initial states. And we're not, we're not even going to change anything except the duration. I don't know because the default always goes 0.5. We'll just make it 0.3, press save, and there we go. It pops up. We'll click this, and it's gone. And that's it. Hope that helps. Put that on your next website. It'll help your if you have any notifications uh, for your users. That's how you can do that right there. Hope you have a blessed day.